In this video, we're going to take a look at the bookmark toolbar, also sometimes called the favorites bar, uh, that it can appear in the various browsers that you might use. The reason I say can appear is there's usually an option to either show it or not show it. Right now you can see I have Google Chrome open and across the top you can see that my bookmark toolbar is showing. If I wanted to take that away for some reason, I would go up in the upper right hand corner to the three dots, which will give me my settings menu if I left click there. And now I go down to bookmarks and you can see that there is a check mark in front of show bookmarks bar. If I click that again, it will take the check mark away. However, you can see the toolbar is still there. I'm going to reopen Google Chrome and you can see that the toolbar is gone. So if I want to bring it back, I'm going to go to settings again, go to bookmarks and put a check mark in front of show bookmarks toolbar. And there it is. It's back. Now this varies in different browsers. This is Google Chrome. Here's Microsoft Edge. I can go to the three dots and again I see now here it's called favorites and I can see show favorites bar and when I put my mouse on that I get an extra little menu and there's a check mark in front of always. I could pick never or I could pick only on new tabs. Okay, so I go there and when I go to favorites, show favorites bar, I can change to never. And now in this case, the toolbar disappeared immediately. So if I want it back, I go up to the settings, favorites. I put my mouse on show favorites bar and I go over to the little mini menu and I click always. And there it is. Again, it varies in different browsers. Now here's Firefox. Firefox is a little different. Instead of going to these three horizontal lines in the right, I go right here where I have view settings for bookmarks, history, downloads, etc. And I put my mouse on bookmarks and click. And now it'll say bookmarking tools. I left click on that. And here it will either say hide the bookmarks toolbar or show it. In my case, mine is already showing. So the option is to hide the bookmark toolbar. And now I'm going to show you Safari. In Safari, you go to the right hand corner where the settings wheel is. And there it's right there, hide bookmarks bar. So if I click that, the bar is gone. If I go back to it, it says show the bookmarks bar. And there it is. So now I've shown you four browsers, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, and Safari. Of course, there are some other browsers, but the way that you show or hide the favorites or bookmarks toolbar was going to be very similar in all of them. So now we've talked about how to show or hide the bookmarks toolbar. Now I want to talk about what do you do um, if you have bookmarks in there I'm going to show you how to put one there, but I'm also going to show you how to get rid of one. Um, here we are in Firefox. This is going to work very similar in all the other browsers. Suppose I have duplicate bookmarks in the bookmarks toolbar. You can see here in Firefox, I have two bookmarks entitled getting started. I don't need both of those. What I can do is right click on one of them and I'll get a menu. And in that menu is the option to delete. So I just click on delete and that's gone. Okay, so that's a way to get rid of things in the bookmark toolbar that you no longer need or want. Now another option is you can shorten the title. Because what happens, let me take a look here. See my Google, look at how many favorites I have in my bookmarks toolbar. I have a ton of them. And what you can do is you can shorten names. I'm going to go back to Firefox for a minute. See where it says Amazon Business? 
I can now right click and I can go to properties and I can change the name of that. I don't need the word business there, just Amazon. So I'm going to delete the word business and save. And now you see that it says Amazon and it's not taking up as much room. I could do the same thing here in my Google ones. So um, for instance, here's Port St. Lucie High School Drama Department. That's a big long title. I could right click on that. Um, I could go to edit and that will give me the name and I'm going to make this PSLHSD for Port St. Lucie High School Drama and I have now saved that room. So I can rename what's in the toolbar and take up less space so I can actually get more favorites across the top. Now remember, you use the bookmark toolbar to put in shortcuts to sites that you go to very frequently. You know, if you only go there once a month, I probably am not going to put a favorite in the toolbar. I'm going to put it somewhere else, which we'll look at later. But if I go someplace like DNH Home, that's my distributor. I go there every day, multiple times during the day. So it's important that that is up in the toolbar. So now we've talked about how to show and hide the toolbar. We've now looked at how you can delete bookmarks from the toolbar that you no longer need. And we've also looked at how you can rename something to take up less space. The question now is how do you add a page to the bookmarks toolbar? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to 4kcc.com forward slash blog. So when I go there, the first thing I'm going to notice is over in the right-hand side, there's a star, which is just a black outline with sort of gray or white inside. That means I have not marked this site a favorite previously in this browser in Firefox. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that star, and here's what I get. I get an option to put a name in. All right, so I can make whatever name I want here for KCC blog, and I can put it where I want. I don't want it to go in other bookmarks. I want it to go in the bookmark toolbar. So I hit this drop down menu and you can see there's your bookmarks toolbar. I'm going to bring that up. I could put tags in there if I want. We're not going to talk about tags right now, but we might do that in a future a video. So now I'm going to click done. And if you look over here in the toolbar at the top, the favorites toolbar or the bookmarks toolbar, you'll see that the blog is now there. So that means I can be on any page. So I just moved to this one. And if I want to go to the blog, I just click on that and it will take me to the blog. I don't have to type it back in again. Um, I don't have to take a chance on mistyping it. It's right there. So in this video, we've learned three things. We've learned that we can show and hide the bookmarks toolbar. We learned that favorites or bookmarks that are in the toolbar can be deleted if we don't need them anymore or they can be renamed to save space. And finally, we've learned how to add a site to the toolbar. Now we did that in Firefox, but it's going to be very similar in Google Chrome or anything else. So if I go here, if I go to um, go to msn.com in Google Chrome, you see, look at the star, it's gray. So that means this is not a favorite. I can click on that. And again, I could change the title. Look how long that title is. I don't need all that, just MSN. And it wants to save in the bookmarks bar or toolbar, and that's fine. So I could just click done, and now it's in the toolbar. I have a ton in the toolbar, so you don't see it right at the top. I'd have actually have to click an arrow and find it. But we've done the same thing in Google Chrome now. So that's it for today's video. Hopefully you have a better understanding of the bookmarks toolbar and how you get things in and out of it and rename them and show it and do that. Whatever browser you use, try it.